everybody, welcome back to Buddy's Spirits and Cigars. And today we have a wonderful guest with a bare face, Mr. I'm Treat. I'm new to the show. I'm new to the show. First time. First time. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he's thinking. But Where'd your mustache go? Shaving that thing off. He donated it to you to fill in the patches. Piss off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you Piss off. <laughs> you know it's really sad. That thing was giving Tom Selleck's mustache a run. What in hey, shit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it is no more, apparently. Sorry the weight of manhood was too much. The wife said he had a pretty face and she didn't want that hair covered. She did up. say that. She is that did. true? Yeah. That is, she actually said that. Yeah. That ain't true, is it? I guess is happy wife, happy life, right? Are you calling his wife a liar? Yeah. No, you. That. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we, we are doing uh, Subtle Smoke this time. Uh, this is kind of new to the market, been out a few weeks. Um, we haven't done it yet, haven't I haven't tried it. Have you tried it? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Have you? No. I right, can. No. So three out of the four of us up here haven't tried it. Bruce is an overachiever and I mean, that's just- Yeah, you know, I have two life. bottles already. There you go. So- Cheater. He, uh, he knows well, Basil all about it, got so me. it's kind of a review for him. <laughs> Uh, for us, it's so brand like new, that. so let's dive into it, shall we? Not bad off the nose. No, I like that. It's got a good nose. It's not a Takara red nose, but oh, not even it close. certainly is not. It smells sweet. Maybe a little like, bit of vanilla actually, in there. Actually, it smells really sweet. Yeah, get a little bit of smoky vanilla on the nose. All right. Does it smell spicy or not spicy? Uh, I, it uh, smells like it'll be spicy. Taste, it wasn't so spicy. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Can't even get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The smoke is not I don't think it's as there. prevalent as I thought it would be, and it may be because I'm smoking a stogie. That it, might be. Uh, it's not. It's not there. Is it not there at all? It's not there. I don't. It, it's you very, that, very well, soft. You've it's had very, a cigar with it every time you've tried it, though, haven't you? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I do. Well, but I mean, did you I try it cigars and having a cigar and first? And no. Yeah. <laughs> no. I wonder if that somewhat masks some of the. I think it's very possible, but the smoke is not, it's not super prevalent on the, on the taste anyway. Hence the name subtle smoke. Correct. <laughs> but subtle. I mean, versus... it's not a smoked old fashioned where, you know, you're, you're actually adding smoke to the spirit. So it's not going to be that, that strong. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. That's cool. That's not so subtle anymore. No. See if it changes anything. What? <laughs> well. That does change things. Is it a good one? Does it? Did you try it? No. It puts a pretty unique flavor to it, really. I can smell some smoke in it. Yeah, I mean it's it's I can it's, I, in here you can smell the smoke. I'm just saying. In my glass. I like you tasted the glacier in a few episodes. That was legit. Nah, you right. can taste Mount Hood in that bottle. I remain skeptical. They're okay. the ones that said it, not fucking me. I mean I said it. We I agreed with you. We were providing the facts of of the the <laughs> Whiskey was cut from water from a, gla a glacier fed spring. You specifically pulled out of somewhere that you could taste the glacier. I think it's there. I think. You go around licking glaciers to see what they taste like. <laughs> of all the flavors. <laughs> there's so many here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them in Oklahoma. Of all the flavors Arkansas. that you could pick out of that drink, I think glacier was definitely highest profile. I think it was just the algae. That was something. I don't know what's going on in his head. I'm pretty Wait, sure you can smell you it. Did you do that? I'm, I'm letting it percolate for a minute. Yeah. 
it, it, you kind of get a little bit uh, more on the back end. Back end of it. I don't think I it's think bad. This would probably do a really good smoked old fashioned. As far as a just the straight basil Hayden, I'm not a giant fan of just basil Hayden. You know the regular basil Hayden yeah. right in the middle. Dark rye. I think it's better than the dark rye. I've gotten lost in a bottle of dark rye. Yeah. Um, with a couple of buddies in this room. I mean, that's a third of the show, right? I don't think you. We heard covered. Me. We covered two thirds. Of, I think it's better than the dark rye. I think that, you're wrong. No, nah, I think that you're adds, wrong. That does wrong. add a little bit to it, Chris. It does. I, yeah. yeah. It, it, it enhanced the flavor quite a bit. I actually. think so. It it puts a mm -hmm. unique spin on it. You should try it, Ken. You need to get that smoker, that smoking gun you have out of the cabinet later. Yeah, we should try maybe doing something like that, do some experimenting on the spirits here. But this is okay. It's not, it's not gonna. It's not the best Basil Hayden's ever put out, but I it's think it's good. No. no. I think it's kind of plain. Out of, out of Basil Hayden's that I've had, <clears throat> Dark Rye two by two are at the top for me. Oh. Yeah, um, this is this dark rye. This is better it's incredible. Than, I guess regular run of the mill basil yeah, hayden. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, uh, oh, for the sure. ten year basil hayden is not bad. Yeah, it's not the ten year bad. rye is good I, as well. I forgot about the uh, ten year basil hayden. But this is just right above regular basil hayden for me. I think the two by two dark rye ten year I think is better. Yeah, I think the toast actually had a little better flavor than this. I haven't had the toast yet that I recall. The subtle smoke. I mean. Subtle is a very good word for this because the flavors aren't all that, like they don't really jump out no. yeah. of, of any kind. Um, uh, this is 80 proof. <clears throat> it's by Beam Sun Tory. So, um, you know, I mean, that, like I said, and it's, it's pretty readily available from what I understand. It's so not, far, it's right now it is. But like a lot of their stuff, I mean, you know, that uh, Caribbean cask, uh, was out for a while and then it totally disappeared. Same thing with a two by two. Right. Um, so you don't know if they're going to make it a limited run or not. Yeah, that's true. It's easy to get right now, but because it's just not out, but it could be in a couple of months, it could just totally disappear. They have, they have a funny way of doing that. With yeah, that, that's true. Um, and, uh, for me, the availability's here. We picked up bottles easily. You've already had a couple yourself. Um, this is just kind of a run of the mill, middle of the road area for me. I'm gonna go um, two and a quarter. That's where I'm at with it. I'm gonna go two and 2.5. 2.5? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, I'm not upset that I have two bottles of it. I'll drink them. But uh, oh, I thought you already went through two bottles. No, I've got to. Okay, um, got you. I probably half. I've gone through half of one so far. Um, it's a good, it's a good drink. I mean, but it doesn't just blow my skirt up. And, you know, I'm not like it's kind of I got to get home and get me a pour of that. You know, it's just not that exciting. Yeah, it's a skirt. Uh, it's kind of a skirt. It's disturbing. Disturbing. It is disturbing. Hey think? man, I have the legs for it. I don't believe that. I said I'd like to see you. That makes me worry. Terry, what do you think? What do you, what do you rate this? Man, off the nose, it's really sweet, but just overall, nothing just pops out. Uh, and if I'm drinking, I'm drinking something that's got a lot of flavor to it. A lot more enjoyable. Yes. Yeah. It's just, it's plain. It's not bad. I've had a whole lot worse, but it's just not, yeah, well, it's not flavorful. Right. So... I'll give it a, I'll give it a two. Oh, it's good, not, good. it's, that's it's the not, lowest it, rating you're feeling, the Simon's it's, Terry. It's not bad, it's just, it, it's not, blowing it's not skirt, doing anything It's not me. blowing Bruce's skirt. No, right. no. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to call it a 2.5. It's a familiar drink. It's not bad. It's not great. Okay, so what do you think about the smoke today? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's definitely more smoke there. It's less subtle. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it is less subtle that's, on these. It's a moderate, that's it's just moderate the, smoke for you. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think um, 
putting a better smoke in there. You know, if we done like the machine did some hickory or something like that in there. For chisel. Or something mesquite or whatever. Mesquite's a pretty smoky wood flavor. So something like that in there, it might do something pretty interesting. Yeah. I definitely this. think Bruce is right. That would make a pretty cool smoked old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's something we can uh, try at some point. That would be pretty cool. Have you come on here and make some of your old fashions and everybody try them? Yeah, we can do that. You did a pretty good job on the, the ones I've had from you. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's our rating on uh, Basil Hayden Subtle Smoke. Um, I don't remember, what was it like? Were they around 40-ish? Uh, 40 or 50, somewhere yeah, in that ballpark. Between 45 is uh, 50. $5. 50 from our uh, studio audience uh, member said $50. So. And we, we get so many different bottles, it's really hard for me to remember all the costs on them. Um, but yeah, 50, around 50 bucks. So uh, if you're a Basil Hayden fan, I mean, it's almost kind of like a, just a normal run of the mill Basil Hayden with just maybe a hint of smoke kind of deal. It's nothing that just really great. It's not horrible. And we've definitely had tons worse on the show than, than that, without a doubt. So this is, a, this is drinkable without a doubt, but it's just not great in my opinion. So anyway, um, today's cigar, we are smoking a Camacho Ecuador. Shout out to Garrett Calhoun, my Davidoff Zeno yes. Avo Camacho rep. Garrett, he's a great dude. If you uh, ever get a chance to meet Garrett when he's in town, man, mm -hmm. he, he's an awesome guy. I love hanging out with him. He's a, Garrett's a great guy. He snuck in on me the other night. I didn't know he was around. He oh, yeah. yeah. Got to hang out with him. Uh, so this Ecuadorian uh, Camacho is a pretty interesting deal. I looked it up, um, yeah. and there's actually four fillers. Four. So Pennsylvania Lajero, a Nicaraguan Lajero, a Nicaraguan Seco, and then a uh, Honduran Criollo. Um, it, it's it's an interesting smoke. It's got a lot of subtle flavors. I think probably this would pair. This didn't pair bad with this, but I think a rum would be really good with it. Yeah, um, I agree. I think mm. the Baku probably would be a very good pair yeah. with, with this one. Love that Baku. And I, know, I just like I know we it. mentioned Baku. Baku's Baku. not going to be mentioned quite a bit, too. <laughs> Baku. And, uh, Kevy, he, he, he done a good job on picking that one. That word. guy's a superstar for bringing yeah, Baku like, into our like, lives. He likes to Baku. play rummy. I mean, he done a great job. So. Mm. Um, Anyway, the Baku 8-year is the best one, we think, as far as rooms go. I, I agree. I think a room would be good with this. That yeah. would that would be a good... I didn't think about that until you that. mentioned it. I was third it. You third it? Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, well, a little little chocolate molasses in the in the tasty notes of the cigar, I think, would the molasses especially would pair with that with the rum. Yeah. Or, well, that then a bourbon. That the um, eight year is, I mean, literally. When I was, like I said, when I was a little kid, I, we had those butter rum, butterscotch lifesavers, and as soon as we opened that Baku eight year, it's exactly that took me back to childhood, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that would, I think, that would pair really well with this cigar. That would. I agree with you. I think that would be a good pairing. So, um, those. I'll have to try that. Do you have those downtown at 906? No, we don't shows? carry the Ecuador's. I know they're at Winston's, but I didn't know. No, I don't carry the Ecuador's. Okay, so there. if you want to try the Camacho Ecuador, is at uh, Winston's in Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's right across from the mall, right by Bo's Tuxedo. 5304 Rogers. 5304 Rogers is the address. So, um, Man, guys, go there for cigars. I Tell Sammy and Sam we sent you. They have a really good mm -hmm. selection of cigars, and uh, you know, some some things that you can't get there, you can get downtown, and vice versa. But most of the time, you can get anything you you need or want at Winston's, and uh, they have hundreds of facings of cigars in uh, the humidor. Walk-in humidor, super nice, friendly staff help you with uh, any cigar needs you have. Have lots of accessories and um, ashtrays. I mean, they have indoor ashtrays, outdoor ashtrays, lighters, cutters, humidors, pipes, pipe tobacco, mm -hmm. all the tools for pipes, um, travel humidors, as long, also desktop humidors, just I mean, 
pretty much your run-of-the-mill uh, accessories they they have there and if they don't have it they're willing to order things and work with you so super nice guys they uh, they are very friendly and good friends with us you guys have seen uh, Sammy on the show so he's one of the owners there we have a great time coming up in future episodes we uh, seeing this how it's summer we are going to be going back to the private venue and we will be doing some shooter sips and having some fun in the pool. Hey. So uh, why not? Hey it's hot weather. Have a good time and uh, enjoy ourselves with uh, some drinks and smokes. I mean, water only goes with hot temperature. I mean, that's just hand in hand deal. So I think it'll be a good time. We'll have a lot of fun. Uh, we'll get that stuff set up with uh, the owners of the private venue. And, um, you guys can hang out with us there and have fun again. We've really enjoyed being over there, and uh, they've extended their their uh, invitations and gratitude. And we're grateful. I mean, our gratitude is just out of this world. For They're that. damn good hosts. They, Jesus Christ. They have been yeah. very amazing to us. So uh, we're going to accept the invitation once again. Um, have a good time so shout out to the dawn shout out to the dawn without a doubt he's uh he's an amazing guy we shout have, out. We oh, have fun out. every time we go over there and we hope you guys enjoy it as well um that's all we have time for on this episode we appreciate you guys tuning in please invite your friends and uh like and subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you guys on the next one